Hi, this video tutorial I will cover what are the different ways we can use to obtain the stream instance. To create a stream of primitive data types, we can use in stream, long stream, and double stream class. To create a stream of objects, we can use stream class. Using stream method, we can create a sequential stream. Using parallel stream method, we can create a parallel stream. These two methods are introduced in Java 8 in a collection interface. List, queue, and set interfaces are extending collection interface. So these two methods are available in list, queue, and set interfaces. In case of map, if you want to create stream, then we can use stream method of map.entry set and parallel stream method of map.entry set. Using a stream method of uh, arrays class, we can create a stream. Stream method accept uh, int array or uh, object array. Using uh, off method of uh, stream, we can create a stream. Off method accept uh, object array. And off method is a static method of uh, stream. Using uh, range method of uh, in stream, we can create a stream. Using iterate method of stream, we can create the stream. Using lines method of buffer reader class, we can create stream of string. In Java 8, in files class, find, lines, and walk methods are introduced. These methods return stream. Using random class, we can obtain streams of random number for primitive data type. Using uh, ints method of uh, random class, we can get uh, int stream. Using uh, longs method of uh, random class, we can get uh, long stream. Using uh, doubles method of uh, random class, we can get uh, double stream. Stream method of uh, bit set class returns stream of uh, indices as a int stream. Splitter stream method of uh, pattern class returns stream of uh, string. Stream method of uh, jar file returns ordered stream over the SIF file entries.